Hi, I'm Nathan Brown. One of my favourite book editing projects in the last few years is Dearest Folks. Marg Watts is a retired missionary. Uh, she's the one who tells her story of being a missionary's wife and a nurse and all the other things that a missionary's wife did back in the 50s and 60s when there were uh, missionaries in Vanuatu and then Bougainville in the South Pacific. Uh, there's some fascinating stories and the, I, I was in awe reading about all the different things that she was expected to do that she did and then the extra things that she did on top of that like sewing uniforms for an entire choir and all sorts of craziness but that were good and because they wanted to serve the people and share the love of Jesus in those places. I loved working with Marg on this book. You know, she's one of the liveliest 90-year-old ladies I've ever met. Uh, and, you know, she did recently, just a few years ago, rediscovered the letters that she had written back uh, to her family from her time uh, as, a, as a missionary with her husband, Hori. Uh, her kiss sister had kept all those letters and uh, she was able to read back over them. And she was working with Robin Priestley, who's a historian, uh, now retired from Avondale College of Higher Education. And Robin said, you can't just lose all this. We, need to, we could do something with this. These are great stories. And so working together, they developed them and edited them a little bit just to turn them into something that we could all read and enjoy. And that became the book, Dearest Folks. It's one of the fascinating things is because they are letters, they are written from the time they were happening. It's not somebody sitting around decades later and remembering their stories. It's, you know, they wrote a letter, she tried to write a letter every week and so she'd write a letter and it'd tell part of the story. But even she, when writing the letter, didn't know what was going to happen next. And so you have this kind of momentum to them that takes you through from week to week. As, you, as they work on building a hospital and some of the other big projects that they had. It's a fascinating read and just this kind of snapshot of what life was like for missionaries in sometimes very uh, remote and primitive situations uh, with very little communication uh, but really wanting to serve and help people uh, in what they were doing. So I recommend to you, dearest folks, it's a great story, a great read and from a great lady.